About one month ago, I put up a post on the Sunshine Teachers Training Instagram account and it got a lot of attention. So the post was about praising children and it got 58 comments, which is not very common. Um, a lot of people had different thoughts about this and, um, you know, they had a lot to share. Some people believed they, they agreed with what we were saying and some people couldn't understand why it's not okay to say good job or to praise their children. And that's why I decided it would be a good idea to talk about how we approach praise in a Montessori setting. If we're coming from a Montessori background, um, how do we approach praise and what, have, what are our thoughts about it? So in a Montessori environment, it's more common to see parents acknowledging a child's effort in order to encourage them rather than offering them praise saying things like good job or clever boy or you know i'm proud of you or you know bribing them if you do this i will uh, give you something that's not what we do in montessori but we do acknowledge our children so why is this so? It's quite hard for some people to understand. You know, when I'm uh, training teachers right at the beginning, they have a tendency when they're practicing, they use a lot of the phrase, good job. Good job is very common. And so whenever a child does something, you know, even without giving it thought, you will see it becomes very, very mechanical. Good job. Whether they put a mat away, whether they tidy up a spill, they will say, good job. But what happens in, and why we don't do this in a Montessori is what I'm going to go into. So I will tell, you know, my students that we don't say good job and they look at me really puzzled. But what about if they did it really, you know, they did it so perfectly and I'll say it doesn't matter. Just go with it. And they find it really hard to control themselves because they're so used to it. And so many of us parents, we're so used to just offering these simple words of praise. Think about it. How specific, when we say good job, how specific does it mean? What does it actually mean? What was a good job? How did I do well? Am I really offering my child any specific or concrete feedback? Not really. We could do so much better, right? Now, the reason why, let's go into why we don't say good job or other forms of praise in a Montessori setting. Maria Montessori believed that every child is so unique and she wants every child to learn in this very natural setting of a Montessori classroom where they choose um, materials, activities that make them happy, that connect with them. So, because when I choose something that I want to do, if I walk over to the shelf and I pick up the pink tower by myself as a child, it's going to give me satisfaction as opposed to my teacher telling me this is what you need to do right now. Think about it when you were in school, right? We were always doing what the adults told us to do and most conventional schools still do work, work that way. There isn't a connection being made with the material. There isn't a connection being made with that activity because it isn't self-chosen. Being able to choose and work with something that satisfies your curiosity, that answers your questions, is a whole different and deeper form of learning. So when we want children to come and be able to learn according to their own pace, according to their own choices, the minute we say, good job, it interferes with that process. How so? Let me tell you. I go to the shelf and I pick up the pink tower and I'm working with it. My teacher sees me build a beautiful pink tower and she says, wow, Jenny, good job. Now, Fred is sitting in the corner and he listens. He picks up on that and he thinks, hmm, the teacher said, you know, Jenny, she, she really liked Jenny. She was happy. And she said, good job to Jenny when she did the pink tower. Maybe I should do it and then she'll like me as well, right? So we've taken out from Fred's process of, of learning that freedom of choosing by himself the minute we put in the praise in that situation. Similarly for Jenny, now when she built the, builds the pink tower, she picked it because she wanted to do it. But the teacher said, good job. So she's thinking, anything I do, I should do it to please the teacher. She's going to look for validation from me. The next time she does something, she's going to look to the teacher and say, is it good? 
Did I do a good job? So now her work, her success, her choices are dependent on the adult's validation. It's the same thing. You will see children at home. They will do a piece of work or they'll do well on a test and they'll say, did I do a good job? Are you proud of me? But they should not make their success uh, you know, dependent on what anybody thinks of them. Not a friend, not a teacher, not a parent. It should be for self-satisfaction. They should feel happy and proud of their own work. And so what we do in a Montessori classroom, you know, a lot of children are conditioned from home. They're used to their parents telling them, good job, I'm proud of you. So they look to us in the very beginning and they'll say, did I, did I do a good job? Do you like it? And we turn it back on them and we say, what do you think? Do you like your work? Are you happy with what you've done? Are you proud of the work you've done? And they have to think about that and think, am I? Do I like this? Do I think I can do better? And then they start assessing themselves from a very comfortable place, not from a judgmental place, from their own self-evaluation. Could I do it better? Do I think I did an amazing job? That's fine if they are so thrilled with their work. That's brilliant, right? Today in life, we should be able to recognize our strengths, our weaknesses. And if we help children to get there from a very early age, then we're really giving them a wonderful tool. We don't want them to grow up into adults who are depending on you know, their bosses or their professors to praise them and to you know, point out what they did well. They, we want them to be able to know and feel confidence in their own abilities. Isn't that just a wonderful gift we can give our children? The other thing is that when we don't praise children, but we acknowledge their work, we acknowledge their effort, we are encouraging them to have a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. A fixed mindset, mindset sees a child, makes a child feel that, you know, I'm constantly being compared to others. I have to do well as somebody else. I have to please somebody to achieve. But with a growth mindset, they're looking at how can I be better? How can I improve myself? What can I do to grow and do this in a different way? I can accept challenges. I can do something that's even harder. And all of us want children to have that growth mindset. In the kind of world that we live in today, that is what is going to assist them in success and achievement. So now, if we can't say good job, what do we do? How do we approach praise the Montessori way? First things first, observe your child. Anybody who's from a Montessori background knows observation is very, very vital to what we do. Watch what your child is doing and notice something specific and talk about that. Bring attention to that. I, you know, that was very interesting how you built the tower so carefully. Uh, you focus so much. You had so much concentration when you worked on that material. So you are bringing attention to something very specific rather than saying something completely loose like, good job. When you see that your child is looking at you and they're expecting praise, ask questions. Let's say your child is coloring something, they're painting a picture or creating something in art and craft. Ask them, tell me about this picture. What have you drawn today? What is it? Where is, you know, does this picture have a name? Let them talk about it. Let them share. Divert away from saying well done or something like that. What I've seen is very common in the classroom. Uh, teachers cannot help but when they are presenting an activity and the child looks to you, they look up to you as though they are expecting you to say something and the teachers will automatically say, well done or good job. Trust me, you don't have to. They may expect something from you, just smile. Give a heartwarming smile to the child and eventually they will stop even looking for that. They'll be happy with what they're doing. They won't even need that much from you. Like I said before, ask your child how they feel about their work. What do you think? Do you like what you've done? Would you like to take a picture of it and share it with your mom? What can you tell me about your work? How hard did you have to work to finish this assignment? So talk to them and bring their attention back to their own work. You can offer words of acknowledgement to a child when they've helped you 
and highlight how it's made things better for you. Thank you for setting the table. It gave me more time to make the salad today. Thank you for tidying up. Now I was able to present another material to Mary. So bring attention to how their behavior or what they have done has helped you. Something that is a little bit challenging for all of us is modeling self-praise. Acknowledging our own efforts help children to be able to do the same. I've seen a lot of people when you praise them and you'll say, you know, you did a really good job. The first thing they'll say is, oh no, not really, I don't think so. They're, they, they're not ready to accept that and acknowledge it. So if we start modeling this for the children, then they will also pick up and be able to do it for themselves. So say to yourself, oh, you know, I did finish all my work on time today. I am really proud of myself. Now I have time to have a cup of coffee and relax. So they will also see that it's okay to recognize and acknowledge your own efforts. Montessori makes so many things easy for us and that control of error, which lies in all of our materials, helps children to achieve by themselves, to do things by themse themselves without needing to look for a teacher to tell them whether they've done it right or they've done it wrong. They can see it for themselves and they know that they're on the right path. So they don't need, again, that validation to, for us to tell them, you've done a good job. They can see that they've done it correctly. The control of error shows them so. So if we can't say good job, what do we say? Let me give you some alternatives. You did it is one of the easiest ones to start with. When a child looks at you and we are tempted to say, good job, just say, you did it. And this is enough. They will, you know, they, they're quick to learn that she's not going to say this. And it doesn't make them feel bad, okay? They will just uh, get used to hearing something different from you. You can say to them, I'm really happy that you're proud of your work. I'm really happy that you worked so hard today. So something that is uh, more specific and more about their feelings and acknowledging how they feel. You could say, you did it all by yourself. So they take pride in that independence that they have uh, achieved in doing this activity. You could also say, it's nice to see how happy and proud you are of your work. Another phrase is, it looks like you really enjoyed doing this today. So to recap it all, at the end of it, praise is simply a verbal reward. And we are not pro-rewarding our children for things that they are doing for self-satisfaction. Yes, I know, we have good intentions. We praise because we want our children to know that we, are, we value them and we are happy with their work. But... Maria Montessori said that inner drive gets diminished when we interfere with our praise. She actually saw in her years that there were some children who found it irritating and they didn't annoy, uh, they didn't enjoy it. They didn't like it when, you know, parents and adults and teachers were praising too much. So it's us who feels it's necessary. The children don't actually need it. It's we as adults who condition them to become dependent on this praise and they feel that if I haven't uh, said it to them as a parent, then something must be wrong. So I encourage you to try out the Montessori way of acknowledging our children's efforts over praising them and giving them these verbal rewards. Remember, the more you praise a child, the more they need. It's just this endless cycle. It is a transitional process. It will take time, but be conscious and be aware of it and try it. And let me know in the comments how this works for you. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single video. And until we meet again, have a beautiful day.